Students right now are at a season in their life. Uh, you know, they're getting away from home, a lot of them. This is their first time out making their own decisions and doing their own thing, and they're exploring. Right, we're at a campus that has 25,000 students from all 50 states, over 100 different countries. You're looking at different races, political perspectives, social justice movements, all these things that they're coming with with their heart, but they're also mostly broken and lost, struggling with who they are. What are they gonna do with their life, right? From 18 to 25, you gotta figure out where you're gonna live, what's your career, who you're gonna marry. Like, every big life decision, and most of them don't know the answers. And so seeing that need and that desperation and wanting to enter into that, everyone has a truth. And that's a big thing on campus is my truth is my truth, your truth is your truth. Mm -hmm. And we wanna basically intervene the Holy Spirit into that and share the truth. And so we have to fight that on campuses, but seeing that these students, they're not just picking things because they just wanna fight or get attention. They're really striving for something that gives purpose mm -hmm. to their life. And so wanting to step into that space. And so we do that through a couple different avenues. We do a lot of one-on-one -on -one relationships. It's meeting students where they're at. Again, a philosophy of ministry that if you're around us long, you'll hear us say a million times is ministry happens in the context of relationship. And so we do a ton of one-on-one and it's stepping in to where they're at. We do Bible studies with them and we get students to lead their own Bible studies. We really believe that if they do something now with us, that they're gonna do it in the next season of life. If they learn how to share the gospel, if they learn to do evangelism, if they learn how to do one-on-ones and lead Bible studies, I promise you they're gonna be really active in their church. They're not gonna be watchers. And so a huge way that we impact that too is through hospitality, which is your big heart. This is what it looks like to um, be a family and to have Jesus as King in our home and that doesn't mean that we're perfect. Just being really real um, to them and making them feel loved and at home in our, in our space is super important. We don't always get to see the next steps. I wanna know where we're gonna be in five years. I wanna know what the future has, like how Sawyer's life gonna turn out. But a lamp doesn't show you that. It just shows you what's right in front of you. And so mm -hmm. our, that's our desire. It helps us keep that focus. The focus is the cross and wherever Jesus has us. And like really that lamp is a sign of faithfulness, that God's faithfulness, right? Like we don't get to see so far in the future, but God knows it. And so can we trust what he's shown us? Can we trust the faithfulness that God has, that he's never failed us, he's not going to. So let's just look at the cross and the lamp and trust that God is faithful and he has our lives. Mm -hmm college students are the most needed place for the gospel right now. You know, you think your next politicians, church leaders, nurses, like we have a nine month old and his school teacher is probably on campus right now. Mm -hmm. And what if, not everyone becomes a missionary, but what if they went into their spheres and around the world, right? We're at a campus with 25,000 students, all 50 states, over 100 countries. What would the impact be if they all went back to wherever they're from with a heart to share the gospel? And that's what we're after. Mm -hmm.